How's it going everyone? Welcome to Disc Functional Commentary. On a recent video, I mentioned Amityville The Cursed Collection, a limited edition release from Vinegar Syndrome that puts together four of the Amityville Horror sequels. I pre-ordered my copy at the time and it has arrived, so I thought I would do a follow-up video just to show you what is included in this collection. And here it is. Comes in a very cool looking box that's made to look like the Amityville house. Very nice looking, there's the back. And the front is very similar. There are some subtle differences, but just looks very cool. Um, and this is a nice, thick, sturdy box. This is not a flimsy box, so it's very nicely done. Top opens like so. Inside you get the four discs for the four included movies. And those movies are, well, I'm just kind of stuck in there. All right, we have Amityville, The Evil Escapes. Amityville, It's About Time. Amityville, A New Generation. And Amityville, Dollhouse. Um, all four of these have reversible artwork. The artwork that I'm currently showing you is the artwork that it was showing when I first opened it. It is the new artwork that makes them a little bit more uniform, so they all look a little bit more similar to one another. The reversible artwork, to my recollection, is more in line with the artwork that was on the original video releases for these movies. And I have not seen some of these movies in years. A couple of them I've, I've never seen, but the two that I had seen before, I have not seen since I originally rented them back in the day over two decades ago. So it has been a while. It's great to see these movies again. They are all newly remastered in 4K from the original 35 millimeter camera negatives. They are not 4K discs. They are standard Blu-ray discs, but they've been remastered in 4K and they look really good. There are some film imperfections on some of the scenes. Nothing, nothing major, some minor fi film imperfections and nothing that detracts from the enjoyment of the films. Just something to mention for whatever reason they weren't able to clean up a couple of things. There are some scenes that felt a little on the grainy side to me. Uh, not in a good Texas Chainsaw adds to the gritty factor kind of way either. Uh, but again, these are nitpicks. This is nothing that detracts from the enjoyment of these films. Overall, Vinegar Syndrome did a really great job putting these films together into a collection. There's some really cool special features on here, some interviews with the director and other crew members. Very, very nicely done. As far as the movies themselves go, what these are is after the three theatrically released Amityville horror films, they decided to do something a little different. They felt like, well, you can't just keep going back to the same house because at a certain point you're going to think to yourself, well, why do people keep moving into that house? It's haunted. It's just stupid. So what they did is they decided that it would be an interesting idea to say that any item that is within that house can become infected with the evil presence and therefore migrate <laughs> and become, you know, go somewhere else. So it opens the possibility of this evil that's in the house going to other places. And hence the cursed collection, because it deals with cursed items. One item, it's a lamp. Another move item, it's a, is a mirror. There's a dollhouse. And then the last one is a clock. And the quality of the films varies. I mentioned in the previous video that the Amityville horror films in general are kind of guilty pleasures. These are acquired taste horror movies. They are not for everyone. But for the hardcore collector like myself or the hardcore Amityville horror fans, this is a very, very cool collection and well worth picking up. As I mentioned before in my previous video, and I'll mention it again here, these are limited to 4,000 copies and they are available, I believe, only on the Vinegar Syndrome website. So if it is something that you are interested in, head on over there and pick up your copy because they probably won't last long with only 4,000 copies being available. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. This is a very cool collection. I'm very happy to have these. It kind of just comes closer to completing the Amityville franchise collection. And uh, yeah, very, very cool that this has been released. Thank you, Vinegar Syndrome. Very, very nicely done. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.